So we're going to talk about everybody's favorite topic, which is homework. And your homework here has this little puzzle piece icon. Now just be careful, your homework icon looks just like your quiz icon. Also looks just like your test icon. So you want to be a little bit careful, don't just look at the icon, but actually read what it says here. So we're going to go ahead and jump into the homework. We're in week five. You'll start in week one, obviously, but currently it's week five in a different course. So we're going to have to just jump in there because the homeworks are all due on Monday nights at 11.59 p.m. for that previous week. That's also true. The quizzes have the same due date and the tests have the same due date. Obviously, you can't do all three at the same time, so you need to prioritize what you do. And we're going to go ahead and continue assessment. Uh, if you haven't started it, this button will just say start assessment. All right, so this first question right here. Actually, let's skip this one. We'll go right to the second question. Okay, so on this one, there is a zero. This is your score on the question. You can also see your score written right here, zero of one. Question one, I did answer correctly. Uh, and question two, not yet. A couple other things, you can retry it three times, or you get three shots at this exact question. And if you don't get it right in three tries, you can get a similar question up to nine more times. And that's a lot of tries overall. And you can regenerate the question, but, and it will cause some randomization, so you won't get the exact problem. Uh, but you do need to exhaust your tries before you try a similar question. So we're gonna go ahead and answer just 34. And it says invalid interval notation. Sometimes they're going to, the system will tell you you have the wrong type of answer. So here I need an interval. So if you watch the lectures or read the textbook, you know what that means. And it's gonna be either parentheses or square brackets, not both on each side, but one uh, on the left. Here we're starting at negative two, empty or hollow dot parentheses. If I can hit the key, parentheses, negative two, comma, we're gonna go all the way to one. And then here, I need to do a square bracket because we're including the point one. I'm gonna answer incorrectly and we're gonna see what happens. So I'm gonna go submit. So you can see, didn't get it right. Your recorded score should still be zero if you didn't get it right. But what did change, I only have two tries left. So let's stop messing around and answer this correctly. All right, submit question, there we go. You're gonna see green, you're gonna see 101 right here. Uh, at this point, the tries don't matter that much anymore uh, because you've already gotten full points on it. Now you might wonder what happens if you'd enter a bad answer after that. This is not correct. We'll hit submit, it'll tell you not correct, but you're gonna see your recorded score didn't change. And if you look here, it says wrong, meaning your last attempt was wrong, but right here tells you your points. All right, so you wanna go through and uh, answer as many homework questions correct as you can. And when you feel pretty good about your answers here and your work, then you're gonna be ready to take the quiz next. We'll talk about that in the next video.